All right, so who figured out? I found a way, but I gotta do it. <laughs> Where are, the, are those sizes stored? Did you want to figure that out? Contents yeah, library. In content the content center, center, right? Yeah, in the library. So in the content center, and then and what are the libraries within that? Within the, the ANSI library, right? Yep. For, for the ANSI one. So what are we really wanting to do? Add sizes. We're adding sizes to? Pre-existing stuff. Pre-existing stuff. The family. To the content center library, right? That's what we're doing. So when you go to search for it, oh, I, I erased it. Um, we want to search on Google for inventor add size to content center library, right? Search for exactly that, and it'll give you help on what to do. <clears throat> if you narrow down the year, it'll be more narrow. If you just say inventor. It's a little bit more broad. By saying content center library, you're narrowing it down. If you just said add size to frame generator, then that might get you there also. But it might take you to other things. It might make, take you to making new shapes, right? So would you want to make new shapes to use for the frame generator? No, possibly. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> what if you're making something out of this? And a structural channel, or you're making some kind of frame out of out of this, or something similar. Sure, you draw this, make it into an eye part, add it to a library, and then use that to make your sizes. Right? What's the, what's the library called? The library. No, I mean the content center libraries. Content? So the content center is a collection of libraries that have different parts. In it's a big lab. <clears throat> so we can we can look at that. So if we go to place for content center, we can see the content center and the, the parts here. This button turns on and off the sizes. So that's from the ANSI library, that's from the DEN library, that's my ISO library. Can you lock the screen? What? So if I just go to, to filter, these are all my different libraries. Or I don't, I don't have a filter, so I can see them all. And these are all the ones that are pre-installed in Vinter. So I can pick on this anti a square. See all those sizes, right? If I did that one, there's that inch and a quarter one. They were using. We can look and see. It's got a mass. It's got a designation, so like the name, the, the height and width, the thickness, the radius. What do you think this radius is? Yeah, around it. The radius yeah. in the corner, right? And then I and J. What's that? What's I and J? That's the center of, of mass for it. And so, um, and some of these calculated kind of differently. Um, and so I don't know. That that's important if you're doing the the center of gravity and stuff like that. Uh, if you're not doing that, then you, these don't really matter. So if you're not caring about, if you're not going to do an analysis for the center of gravity of it, you don't need to update these. If you want to, you'd have to do the math and figure out the I and J for, for the different shape. So it's based on the whole, the curves and everything of where it is. And the length, that's the interval with how long it'll, the increments it'll make for the length. <laughs> And even though you have some material here, it still wants you to put in manually the mass. I don't know why I can't just figure it out, but it wants you to put it in. So we can either figure that out or just put in a rough estimate. But I can't, I can't right click and put a new line in here. I can't copy this or anything. 
what I really want to do is I want to put a line right there with my new size, right? So, how do I do that? Yeah. You have to go into Excel? No. I can do it here. Eventually. <clears throat> so, if I get out of this, I go to my projects. Look in here, I've got condenser files. That's where it stores them. <clears throat> so this is one thing that if you want to use stuff in the content center, remember before in 4C, we did everything as a custom part. Mm -hmm. So that way you'd put it into our project file. Mm -hmm. If you change this path here to your project folder, anything you do will drop it into your project folder. So that's one place to do it. We can also come up here to libraries and add a new path to a new library. Also, this button right here. Don't you have to add, turn that on, uh, your, your my library on or something like that? Ah, that's what I'm going to do right now. So this button right here in the very bottom corner. I don't know why there's a fly out for just one button. But this tells me which which libraries I'm using. So you see all of these are read only, read only, read only, read only. And then this one, my library, is a read write. That one I can change, but it's not turned on. So I turn it on. Say OK. Done. Yes, let's save it. Now I can open that part. And I can either go here so I can look at this. But I still can't do anything to the library. So where do you think I should go to try and edit what's in the library? The editor. Yeah, where is that? I have the home screen. Um, I am on home. Get started. Or add it. No, not add it. Get started. No. Manage. Manage. Then I have the editor over here under Content Center. So I go to Content Center, Editor. <clears throat> so here I already done one. When I was, but if I want to add it to this one, if I go down here, I still can't do anything. So I, I go here, I can't do anything. Yeah, we have more buttons at the top. If I go here, I go to the table. I can't do anything. You can copy. I can copy it. But what I really want to do is what? Save as and make your own table. Yeah, either save copy as or copy to my library. Right? So now I've got this little link. Because so now it means I have a copy of this on my library. Which means if I right click and go to the table, now I can right click and add rows. So I hit an add row. So I want to do, it would be nice if I could put this up top. Alright, let's order later. So, what the hell? Three quarter by three quarter by yeah, sixteen. Copy two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, check. Open back up. And the weight, let's just say it's 1.5. Put that in. We'll say OK. If you forget something in there, if you don't fill it in a cell, it's going to tell you that it's going to make it sick. It doesn't, it doesn't say it's an error. It says it make, that, that part is, that member of the family is sick. <laughs> is what it tells you. Because this is the different things in the library are families. So each of these is a member of the family, so it tells you it's sick. I'm trying to be creative or something. So now I've got that new size in here. So now I can go in, edit.
And there's my new size. In the wrong spot. <laughs> no, it's in the right spot. Remember, I wanted it lined up at the top. Oh, yeah. Just say OK. Yes. OK. If, if I had them done all from the center point, uh, then I could have just done it under one, right? Because I was a little lazy and I didn't want to do any math ahead of time. <laughs> I have to do them all separate. So, so that's where making it doing the center point, because then you can put them all in at one time as a benefit. See that now it's the right size. So I just need to adjust it. So. What happens if I want to put holes on this? <coughs> so let me go back in and turn these up quick. What if I want to put holes in these? So I need to put some holes in there, right? How do I do that? Make a sketch. Make a sketch. Put it here. Oh. Depends on if I want them to drill it before or after they cut the pieces, right? Do I want them to drill the holes after it's all together? Do I want them to have them drill the holes? I did before. Well, they're individual pieces, right? If you want them as individual pieces, what do we have to do? We have to go back to the individual part, right? What do I, if I want to do them here, what do I do? Make a sketch and do the holes. Uh, make a sketch and do it. And I can, uh, I can easily just go under weld, go to my preparations. Now I've got the whole option. So I can make a sketch from my hole. Because uh, I'm in the weld, I'm in the weld mint. If I was just in a plain assembly, I could have just gotten a hole. Or I can go into that. So if I just want to go into that one part and add holes, what do I do? Uh, I'm trying to select it. You can select it on the side of it. Yeah, pick it on the browser. Right click. Instead of editing with the frame generator, just go to edit. Or you could open it. But what's going to happen if you open it instead of edit it? You know, it's open to part and You can't uh, draw on it. Sure you could. You could draw on it. Why, why would you want to edit it instead of open it? Because if you open it, it won't update, will it? Sure, well. Whoa. All right, just open this. I just lost the reference of which one is. Which side do I put the holes on? Do the holes go this way or that way? Mm -hmm. Get two ways to find out. Huh? Do a whole bunch of mistakes to find out. Don't know. So, that's why I like to edit in place and at least get started, get the first thing going. So now I can go here and do a sketch.
I could not have to make a plane there. This does the same thing. It's fast. And now I can space between them. So I wanted that to be. What is that? We've been the same amount of books. What is the dimension of those? 37 inches. Probably quarter. Here I'm, I'm putting a distance between them. Maybe I care how, what that, that spacing is. Because that spacing between these. On the legs down there, that, that detaches has to be the same as the spacing up here. So if I did a mirror, I'd have to measure it from the side or something. But I really care about that spacing between them. That's what I care about, so that's what I'm going to put in. Or it's all about what you're doing. So now I can put in my hole. Do more stuff like notching them or whatever. Now I could open that part. Did it go all the way through the other side? Mm -hmm. I go through all. Or just do the all like, through both sides. I told it through all. It goes through all. But now that I've got that set up as a thing, now I can go and start doing other stuff I want to, right? Yeah. Now you know what a hole is. Better. So now I can save it. Save yes to everything. It's frozen. Come on. So I've got this here assembly, frame. Those are all my parts for my frame generator. Okay? And my assembly is there because within this assembly file, there's also this assembly file here for the frame itself. And then the parts. Now, you like do a sketch and you do it off the assembly. Can you tell it that we'll put a cut list in? Uh, yeah, it'll. Um, so, when we go to, to, to the drawings, we can insert a, a table with, with all the sizes. So, go to new drawing. There's my, I put it right into the bottom, using the part number off of the, the content center. If I wanted to change the description, I could go back into those parts, go into the IP properties and change the description. Total length, not a length of each one. So that might be something I want to look at. Oh yeah. Those are the total lengths. Yeah. So I'd have to figure out why it's doing that. How do you do plate? Do you plate in the frame? Oh, it's just kind of top and bottom. Like you want to adjust the plate or the same length going both ways. Um. Or base plate. If you're doing it out of uh, strip or something, we can go back and look. Like if you're doing do it out of flat bar. Uh -huh. So it goes to 12 by 1. So if you're using up to 12 by 1 flat bar, you could do it. Okay. So, I don't know, if you're doing a quarter inch thick plate that's 12 inches by 12, yeah. you could do it by, by that. And then just have your sketch be 12 inches long. Right. So, you'd have to kind of figure out a, a way to use what's there. Yeah. On the on the sides right here, they have a little hole. You'd have to go into the parts and cut that in. Cut that in before yeah. you weld them together, or, or yeah, like the, place them together. Or? Yeah, you because that that's 
What do you think this hole on the side is for? Oh, yeah. On these little pieces, they've got little holes. When you weld, you get some shit that's gonna rattle. Yeah. And knock it out. It's, that's just for to get let the gases out and stuff when you're welding. So, it could be there. Because when you weld those really? together, you'll hear stuff rattling around in there and feel it all. Yeah. It's just kind of a pull to get stuff. So, it'd be done before. So, you'd have to go into these and, and edit it. So, like on this one, where it's really just two parts. It might be easier just to do the two things, because you'd have to go in and do a bunch of stuff on those other parts. Um, yeah, but the Phillips are already all there. Yeah. So it's kind of, which way do you want to go? Would you use the whole command on a radius? You can't, huh? On a radius. Right down there? Uh, yeah, sure, you can use the whole command. You can make, it, you can make a trailer really fast on that thing. Yeah, you could use a hole. For the, you could, you could use just a, a circle and cut it out, because that's not really a hole. So you can do whatever. Wait, what? Did you say that wasn't really a hole? That right there, that's not a hole because it's not a screw's not going through it. It's not lined up with anything. That's just a spot for air to get out. It's really you said never use the hole command. Never use the uh, circle. When you're making a hole, <laughs> that isn't a hole. Is that all the way around? Is that a full circle? No. No. Actually, On that part, it is not a full circle. So there's no, it's not lining anything up. A screw's not going through it. Then it doesn't matter. If you're going to be lining stuff up, that's where you want to use the, the hole so that you can use the, the cockpit center and everything. The, are the hole commands here smart hole command like in SolidWorks too? Mm -hmm. uh, but when you're just drawing, uh, when you're drawing a hole or a circle and you extrude it, it's not smart, right? It's Correct. just a hole. Um, I, <coughs> but you can put threads on the hole. Yes. But the, the hole command doesn't put threads on it. Yes. Because it does? Yes, it does. So, um, any questions on the frame generator? Are we going to go over that on, uh, on Wednesday too? How we're going to go in there and change it? No, we just did that. I know. But, uh, are we? I mean, um, your guys, right now.